Okay, just a quick note on compound epicyclics. Here I have more than one epicyclic. So in this case I've got a sun gear going around the sun as a planet and then an annulus with its link arm. This link arm is actually driving the next sun gear. So sun, planet gear spinning on this and an annulus gear. Now the planets are always easy to establish. The planets are the only thing in the gearbox which rotates about a center line other than this center line through here. So my sun gear rotates around the center line, my annulus gear rotates around that center line, but my planet gear rotates around a different one. Okay, for these, what I have to do for these is when I make up my tables, I am only allowed one link arm in one table. So here I've got this link arm, and I've got this link arm. When I get to the statement of I need to hold the link arm and turn something, then if the question arises, which link arm do I hold, then you obviously need two tables. I'm only allowed one link arm per table. So this gearbox, we're going to divide into two parts. So if we call these A, and call that B and C, and D, E, and F, I will make up a table on this side, which will have in it a sun, a link arm, and an annulus of which for this one here we would probably know this input speed so I'd know the speed of A, I'd know the speed of C I can find that sp speed there okay when I come now I can go to the second one and I can make my sun which is D which is also B D is joined to B. I'll have a column for E, which is my link, and I'll have a column for F. Now, F I know, F was doing zero. It's up here, it's fixed. D was the same as B. Now, I've already found B, so I can put that number into there. I know that, I know that, I can now find this one, E, which is my output speed for my gearbox. Okay, some gearboxes you will have where they link the two link arms together. So the link arm for this side of the epicyclic is joined to the link arm of the other one. So that if you were to hold this one, you would also be holding that one. In this case, I can get away with just one big table because there will only be one column for the link. So I can solve, I'll have two suns, so I'll have sun one, sun two, one link arm and I'll have annulus one and annulus two and I can get away with solving all this on one table